Uh, with the recent collapse of several high street retailers, including HMV, this week, thousands of people have been left wondering what they can do with any gift cards or vouchers that they've got left. Yes, in theory, they should be able to get refunds from debit or credit card issuers, but some people have had difficulties reclaiming that money. Yes, Paul Lewis from BBC Radio 4's Moneybox is in our central London studio this morning. Uh, morning, Paul. Hello. Um, so tell us about the problems people have been encountering. Well, I've had a lot of tweets and emails about this. People have gone to their bank. They've said, look, I can't use this card. It was bought on this debit card. And the bank's just said, no, we can't do anything about it. Now, that is simply wrong. And it's very disturbing that the counter staff or the call centre staff don't understand the rules. And indeed, the contract between their bank and Visa, MasterCard or American Express, who, who are the sort of the, the conduits this money flows through. And, and they have contracts with the banks if something you buy on one of those cards goes wrong, or in this case you can't use your gift card, they have to refund the money. Sometimes, Paul, I wonder about, I mean, you know the facts, and you know your, what people's rights are, and people at home will hear these things, and they'll get on the phone, and they'll have the same conversation with the bank, and the person yeah. at the end of the phone will say, well, no, we're not going to do that. And I mean, what, if, you don't wanna, if you don't want to write to the ombudsman and have mm. the receipts, I mean, what do, you, what do you advise people to do? Stay on the phone and say, look, well, I'm not, I'm not going to stop calling yeah. you because I know this is a fact. What, what should you do? Well, I've also had messages from people who've done that. Charlie, they've even said, Paul Lewis told me I could do it on the television, so it must be true, <laughs> and that hasn't worked. So, but you do have to be persistent, and you mentioned the ombudsman, and that is where you go. I was talking to the ombudsman yesterday. They confirmed that the biggest source of problems with this kind of process, it's called chargeback, that's the key word to use, chargeback. The, the biggest problem with this is, is the issuing bank simply saying, no, we won't do it. And getting past that barrier can be very difficult, and you do have to go to the ombudsman. I should add one small little exception. We've been told both by Yorkshire Bank and by uh, MasterCard that Yorkshire Bank maestro cards are not covered by this scheme. Now, I still am not 100% sure that's right, but having been told it by both sides, if you like, I have to believe it. But any other card, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, uh, you, you do have those rights. You have to make a claim within 120 days of things going wrong, so still plenty of time for HMV and Jessup's vouchers that didn't work. But you just have to be persistent, and if it doesn't work, put it in writing. If that doesn't work, go to the ombudsman. But don't give up. Uh, Paul, and just briefly, the ombudsman, is, I mean, from what it sounds like, there is a lot of this going on. Can the om ombudsman not just sort of, you know, put a class action or anything on this or not? Um, unfortunately, the ombudsman doesn't have that power. What they're having to do is just take on more people, not to deal with this, but to deal with PPI claims, which are absolutely swamping the ombudsman. They're taking on a thousand more people to deal with that. So th they are fairly swamped by these things. And I think because stores sell about 60% of their gift card and vouchers before Christmas, there are an awful lot of people out there. And remember, it's the person who bought it, not the person it was given to, who has the right to get the money back. So it's a bit of a strange present. You get the card, you go back to your auntie, you say, look, sorry, it won't work. Can you go to your bank? Auntie goes to the bank. Maybe she gets the money back and then she gives it to you. So it's a long process and that's why gift cards and vouchers are a bit of a risk in the present retail climate. Absolutely. Um, Paul, thanks very much. See you soon. Thank you. More on Moneybox um, midday. Radio more Paul. on Moneybox midday as ever, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Time now, 8.46. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News.